First of all, Happy New Year's. I know that I'm really late, but I am still in the New Year's spirit because I love the New Year's and I love everything about it. Trying new things to trying to be more productive and just everything that comes with the beginning of a new year. And now that includes being a better skater. So even though I'm a little late, I wanted to start the New Year's off on the right foot by sharing with you the best advice for beginner skaters. I'm kidding, the worst. I wanna share with you the absolute worst advice for beginner skaters. Skating is hard and it takes a lot of dedication and a lot of practice. And because of this, there are loads of videos and just tons of content on the internet and inside skate communities about how to progress and how to get better. But among those, there's one piece of advice that stands out in my mind as being particularly not helpful. In fact, the opposite of helpful. It seems kind of harmful. And before you disagree, I kindly ask that you watch the rest of this video, especially if you disagree, because what I think is bad advice is not as important as why I think it's bad advice. And I'd like to mention that it's not really YouTubers or people who teach skateboarding giving this advice. This is people inside the skate community that's giving this advice to other skaters. So without further ado, the advice that I see online in the skater community more than anything else is just learn to ollie. Just focus on your ollies and shoves. Don't waste your time with that trick. Just learn how to ollie. In my opinion, this is terrible advice in general. And I love to ollie. And I also admit that if your goal as a skater, as a new skater, is that you just want to learn how to ollie and you just want to get a kickflip, then I can completely understand wanting to focus on the ollie. But I still would never recommend to only focus on the ollie. And here's why, starting with the reason that I think is the most important one. Trying to do a thousand ollies and failing to do a thousand ollies can be incredibly frustrating and disheartening. And if you're only trying to do ollies and shove -its and only failing to do ollies and shove -its, then most new skaters are not going to be having fun and not going to be feeling very motivated. I haven't even been skateboarding for that long and I've seen this happen over and over again. Most new skaters feel frustrated and then they feel bad and wonder why am I the only one who can't seem to get the ollie down? Which is why only focusing on the ollie and only focusing on shove -its is a really easy way to get frustrated, lose motivation, and ultimately quit skateboarding. Failing to get the same trick, especially the quote unquote first beginner trick, can be incredibly frustrating and it's kind of the perfect way to squash a beginner's motivation to keep trying and to learn new tricks. And of course, some skaters might be able to stick to it and stick through it. In fact, anyone who's still skating today probably stuck through that phase, but not everybody can do that. Which is why when you're learning a lot more tricks than just the ollie, you're more motivated, you're having a lot more fun, you're learning a lot more than you think you are, you are getting much needed board time, which ultimately gives you more board control, and most importantly, every single trick that you learned before the ollie will make learning the ollie that much easier. Which brings us to reason number two. The ollie is really hard. It requires a lot of strength, a lot of balance, a lot of board control, and a lot of knowing how to move your body. Now this might come naturally to some people, but it absolutely does not come naturally to everybody. So it's a problem that the average beginner doesn't have enough balance or board control to even get a good ollie or even get an ollie at all. These are all things that are built up over time, which is why the more tricks you learn, the easier it'll be to ollie when you start practicing them. And that's because you're building up these muscles. You're getting more and more time on your board and becoming more and more comfortable. Skaters who learn how to do an ollie, especially a good ollie, within their first month of skateboarding are an exception to the rule. They are not the rule. It's not that common. But because the ollie is the foundation of modern street skateboarding, we're kind of told that you need to learn the ollie as fast as possible. But because the ollie is still considered a basic or beginner trick, 
there's almost this rush to get to the Ali and it almost seems like there's this need for acceptance into the Ali club. Reason number three, skateboarding is not just about ollieing into a 50-50 and then kick flipping back out of it. There's a lot of diverse ways to skate and skating styles like freestyle or transition don't even really require an ollie. You can get away with not knowing how to do one at all for either a very long time or indefinitely. And still I've seen tons and tons of skaters comment on new freestylers posts on Instagram and tell them that they're wasting their time and that they should just learn ollies and shoves when ollies and shoves might not be useful to them at all depending on the tricks they want to do in freestyle. Doing and learning the tricks that you want to do is really important. You can, but you don't have to start with the ollie. In fact, in my probably unpopular opinion, starting with the ollie is the worst thing a new skater could do. I think we give this advice because the ollie is the foundation of modern street skateboarding. So we think that the faster we learn how to ollie, the faster and better we can do every other trick. But the thing is, it could take a year or even more than a year to get a good ollie. It really depends how much time you spend on your skateboard. But I promise you, if you learn other tricks first, a lot of other tricks first, or even at the same time, it'll do two amazing things for you. One, you will be highly motivated because it is so much fun to learn and get better at a new trick. And two, you'll learn the ollie faster. After learning a ton of other tricks, your body is going to listen to you so much easier when you try to learn the ollie. And you don't have to go through months and months and months of just practicing the ollie, which sounds so boring. So this is the best advice that I can give you. If you wanna learn how to ollie, learn how to ollie, but learn how to ollie at your own pace. In fact, I spent my first few months of skateboarding pretty much ignoring flat ground or street style tricks altogether. And it was probably the best choice I could have made. You can learn it whenever you want to. This is your skateboarding journey and these are your goals. Just try not to obsess over the ollie and make sure that you're learning other tricks along the way because I can promise you, if you learn other tricks and a lot of other tricks alongside the ollie, you'll have so much more fun in all of your skateboarding sessions. But seriously though, ollies are super fun, but there's no pressure to learn them. Learn them when you want to, if you want to, for your personal reasons. There is no gatekeeper to skateboarding that says you have to ollie this high to enter. Yeah, end of rant. <laughs>